Uh, look at this quote. Okay, <laughs> this is a stunner. Read this, sports fans. There's a whole area of climate so-called science that is really more like a cult. It's like Hare Krishna or something like that. They're glassy-eyed and they chant. It will potentially harm the image of all science. Wait for it. That is from Princeton. Emeritus physics professor and former director of the Office of Science at the Department of Energy, William Happer, who joins us now. Professor, that's about as strongly worded statement as I've ever heard. Are you anti the climate science people? Well, yes, but let me take this opportunity to apologize to the Hare Krishna people who <laughs> have noble goals. And I, I really am sorry I used that simile. Uh, so, uh, well, what exactly are you saying? Are you saying that climate scientists walk in lockstep and they're not allowed to break out of that? Is that it? No, there are many very good climate scientists. I especially admire climate scientists who do measurements, you know, of... Uh, Temperatures from satellites, uh, properties of the ocean from buoys, you know, concentrations of CO2. These are good scientists, and uh, we should support them. I'm all for them. But there's a, a cult that's built up around them, you know, and uh, any time you confront them, uh, instead of talking about the science, uh, they talk about 97% agree with us, you know, we have to be right, you know. Mm -hmm. so. That's what I meant by a cult. Um, it, could, could, I, could anyone get a job in the climate science department of a major university if they're not gung-ho global warmers? I don't think so, uh, certainly not for the last few years, but I hope that will change because there's a lot of important climate science that ought to be done. And I, I hope it will be done. You're not a skeptic, are you? you? You do believe that the climate is changing and it's human beings who are at least partly responsible. That, I think, is your position. Yes, I, I think the human contribution, however, is very, very small. You know, I think most of the climate change we're seeing is, is natural. You know, climate has always changed. Who denies that climate changes? You know, you have to be completely blind to deny that. Mm. Uh, is the planet, uh, can, can the planet be saved? Are we doomed? Because that's what we constantly hear. We've only got a few years left. Well, uh, no, that, I mean, uh, of course not. It, it's, uh, it's a problem with science illiteracy. You know, most people don't realize that the normal CO2 levels have typically been measured in thousands of parts per million, not the puny 400 or so we have today. And the Earth thrives, so the, the idea that the Earth has never had high CO2 levels, it's completely false. Most of the time, it's never had such low levels as we have now. <laughs> you see, you so see, so why don't, don't you this. learn some facts out there? We never hear this. We just never, ever hear this. I have to ask you, well, sir, now, are you going yeah. back to Princeton today? I know you're coming from Princeton Studios. Are you going to teach a class today? How welcome are you on the campus of Princeton University? Well, first of all, I'm retired from teaching, and uh, secondly, I, I teach physics, you know, so I teach quantum mechanics, electricity, and magnetism. When I was still teaching, you know, I don't teach climate, but, you, but uh, are you, welcome you know, on I campus? am welcome on the campus. You are. Well, we're very pleased yes. to hear that, sir, and you're very welcome on this program, and any time you want to come you. back, you better come back, because we like you. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Happer, thank you, much. sir. <laughs> okay. Thank you.